gaskets. They're like a mesh, a mesh gasket. I put WD-40 over there so I, uh, so I'll be able. Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be uh, wrapping my uh, pipes, my straight pipes on the Sportster just to mitigate and to eliminate that heat rising in my crotch and not to get burned. So uh, I prepped already the, I took the pipes uh, off the bike. I did that. I filmed that yesterday or the day or two ago. Got the nuts out on this side and on that side. Taking the pipe out. And while I'm at it, actually, I'm gonna do the other side as well, and that's it. Let's get it over with. Second one is out. Second pipe is out. See what we got here. Supposed to have uh, some kind of uh, flange or uh, actually uh, some kind of gasket. Let me check it out. Right here. Supposed to have a gasket. There's nothing there right now, so. You see that previous install? You have to put a gasket in. Kahunas are coming off right now. Kahunas are off. Kahunas are off. Let me put the bike back in and I'll keep working tomorrow. Now I'm gonna actually wrap the pipe itself. I uh, got the uh, heat wrap on uh, Amazon. You can find a link down by the description where I picked it up. It was, it was like, like very cheap and it came with uh, these uh, metal uh, ties. So first step is take the pipes off. Second step is soak the wrap in water and wrap it around. I'm not gonna go through the uh, measurements there are a lot of calculators online uh, that will tell you uh, depending on the thickness of the wrap uh, and the length of the pipe and the diameter of the pipe and how much overlapping you want between one uh, one line one wrap to the other how long you need uh, the wrap to be I got I think 50 50 feet which is plenty it's more than I need I'm gonna cut it in half start with the first one then do the second one then put it back on the bike and before i do that i actually when i took the pipes off i i realized that they don't have uh the gasket that goes between the cylinder head so between the uh, pipe header and uh, the exhaust outlet there's usually a mesh of uh some kind of metal mesh over there so i ordered it should be getting it tomorrow that's when i'll put it back on the bike so uh, let's start wrapping it. Make sure you wear uh, gloves because fiberglass is small, small uh, fibers of glass and they can cut you up. So make sure you wear gloves for that. So I don't upset anybody. I even put a uh, eye protection.
hardest part, the hardest part, believe it or not, was getting these, these zip ties on. Now let's do the other side. Couldn't ride the bike for the last few days and I needed some place to dry up uh, the wet fiberglass uh, wrap. So I put it over here in my boiler room. I've gotten, I gotten through Amazon these gaskets. They're like a mesh, a mesh gasket. See this? Like this. Just got the old gasket out. Just pushed it out, pulled it out. I'm gonna put a new one in here. The it's a conical one, so the thicker, the thicker part goes in first. See that went in very easy. See how it's just in there? I'll clean uh, all the debris from inside. It just went in. Once it's clean, it just goes in easy. see it's uh, still steaming that's actually from the I put WD-40 over there so I uh, so I'll be able to get the nuts back on so that's where it's steaming from but it's uh it's look pretty pretty nice very very nice guys uh, this was a long video it took me a few days to uh, to get it done with the weather and everything if you haven't uh, if you haven't uh, signed up for the free raffle, go in and I made a whole video about it uh, last time. I'm gonna put a short explanation how to do right now. Make sure you get your free entries. This is what you need to do. First and most important, you need to go to, uh, to www.advanblack.com. Choose what liner stitching you want, the year of the, uh, your motorcycle, and whether if you have a standard or stretch bags. Subscribe to my channel. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Not only that, for me to be able to see that you're subscribed to my channel, you need to make sure that in your privacy settings and, and make sure that your subscriptions are visible. For being subscribed to my channel, you get 10 free entries to the raffle. For an additional 10 entries to the raffle, you need to go to Instagram. Look, uh, look up holy underline shift with three T's, holy shift. That's my Instagram. Make sure you uh, follow me 
And on any one of my uh, posts, just uh, reply, a comment, put on the bottom, uh, at your Instagram name and at one more friend's name. So it just, you put down yourself, another friend, and me, of course. Last thing, go to my website, www.holyshift.us. Down by uh, the contact me, fill out uh, on the title, put raffle liners or liners raffle. Uh, in the text itself, just write, uh, just write the color uh, of the liners you want, whether uh, the bags are standard or stretched, and the year of your, uh, your motorcycle. Write your name and your email. That would give you, oh, and of course, write uh, YouTube 10 and Instagram 10. That will give you 20 free entries. If you want to make your chances even higher to get uh, uh, to win the, these liners, you can go into my store and pick up any item you want. Any dollar spent is one entry. So you spent two stickers, total of $20. You got 20, 20 entries, an additional to the 20 you already got. So that's it. Hope I made it clear. And if it's a little bit too complicated, like it was a little bit complicated with the Instagram part for me, ask your kids or ask somebody that knows. It's cold outside. I just got back. I just got in back from uh, finishing the pipe install. What did I forget to tell you? I was going to tell you uh, new stickers. I've been waiting for this. Really cool. Free entry for the Advent Black Saddleback Liners. Getting some new merchandise uh, from Israel very, very soon. I love you guys. That's it. Oh, yeah. One last thing. In the raffle, make sure you write your YouTube username. If you're a Glider 316 or Flying Ride 15 or Cycle Fanatics, write Cycle Fanatics and your email. It's because when I go into YouTube, I need to see who you are because it doesn't show me the email address. So, if you're a Glider 316 or Flying Ride 15 or Cycle Fanatics, write Cycle Fanatics and your email. Glider15 so and so at gmail.com. So remember, write me your YouTube name, your YouTube nickname. I love you guys. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you guys. That's it. Right.